What if the key to you getting pregnant wasn't another supplement or fertility hack, but the balance of tiny microbes living in your gut and vagina? Welcome to the Finally Get Pregnant Naturally podcast, the podcast helping women identify the real reasons you haven't conceived or stayed pregnant, so you and your partner can finally grow the family of your dreams. I'm your host, Dr. Katie Wood. Let's dive in, shall we? In this episode, you're going to learn how the gut and vaginal microbiomes are connected and why they play a critical role in fertility, the ways imbalances like dysbiosis or infections can interfere with conception and increase miscarriage risk, and simple practical steps to start supporting a healthy microbiome today to boost your chances of getting pregnant. So let's talk about the gut-vaginal microbiome connection. So the microbiome is a community of bacteria, fungi, and other microbes that live in and on your body. We have many different kinds of microbiomes, but some of them include your gut, one on our skin, and most importantly for fertility, one in your vagina. And here's the kicker. These microbiomes communicate with each other. And an unhealthy gut microbiome can cause systemic inflammation, immune dysregulation, hormonal imbalance, all of which change the environment of the vaginal microbiome. And also, if you consider how close these microbiomes are together, right? A balanced vaginal microbiome should be dominated by the lactobacillus species, and this helps keep the pH balanced in the vagina. And this balance can be lost from antibiotics, diet, stress, infections, and then pathogenic bacteria and yeast can take over, and that is not what we want when we are trying to get pregnant. How can a microbiome imbalance affect fertility? For one, we have implantation failure and miscarriage. So a vaginal microbiome lower in the protective lactobacillus species and higher in harmful bacteria has been linked to reduced implantation and early miscarriage. We want our vaginal pH to be balanced for sperm survival. And then we also have inflammation and immunity. So gut dysbiosis increases systemic inflammation, which in turn impacts the uterus and cervix and can make them less receptive for conception to happen. And then also hormone metabolism. The gut microbiome regulates estrogen metabolism through the estrobolome. And if this is out of balance, then estrogen may recycle back into the body improperly leading to issues like estrogen dominance or luteal phase problems. And we definitely don't want that. So here are some signs that your microbiome might be out of balance. If you have a history of frequent yeast infections or bacterial vaginosis, if you have recurrent urinary tract infections, irregular bowel movements or gut symptoms like constipation, diarrhea, bloating, gas, If you have a history of long-term antibiotic use, if you have any chronic skin issues or fatigue or even joint pain, and then I do actually want to caution you that I don't want you to think that if you are symptom-free, that means that you get a free pass because it doesn't. Because some women can actually be asymptomatic or have no symptoms at all of a microbiome being out of balance. So what can you do to support a healthy microbiome? Number one, prioritize your gut health. So this includes eating a diet rich in fiber, fermented foods, and prebiotics to feed the healthy bacteria in your gut. Of course, we want to have variety in our diet, eating all colors of the rainbow, grass-fed proteins, pasture-raised eggs and dairy, all of those beautiful things. Of course, we want to limit antibiotics unless absolutely necessary. And this is because they wipe out beneficial microbes and then that can allow opportunistic bacteria to come in and thrive. And then some other things you can do is reduce sugar and processed foods. 
because these can feed yeast and harmful bacteria, and it can also cause further inflammation in the body. Consider a high quality probiotic to directly support the gut and vaginal microbiome. And then, of course, you want to test, don't guess. So, with functional stool testing or vaginal microbiome testing, this can provide clear results in terms of what's really going on. So then you can have a personalized protocol moving forward. And this is one of the many ways that I support my clients. So to recap, your gut and vaginal microbiomes are deeply connected and their balance plays a critical role in your fertility. An unhealthy gut can fuel inflammation and hormone imbalance, while a disrupted vaginal microbiome can make it harder for sperm to survive or an embryo to implant. So by nourishing your gut, supporting vaginal health, and considering advanced testing, you can create the most supportive environment possible for conception and a healthy pregnancy. And I want to say I've seen this firsthand, okay, with my clients. I had a client who had five miscarriages before working together. We worked on her gut and her vaginal microbiome, and she is now pregnant with a healthy baby that is growing beautifully just as expected. Okay, so it is possible. I want to thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a gorgeous day. And stay tuned for Thursday's episode where we're going to be discussing a fertility saboteur that lives in your gut and could be sabotaging your fertility. And I bet it's something you've never heard of. So I'll see you on our next episode released every Tuesday and Thursday. Are you ready to finally discover why you haven't been able to get or stay pregnant? The Ultimate Fertility Blueprint is a quick, insightful quiz designed to reveal your overall capacity to conceive and help you discover potential root causes and areas to address to improve your fertility so you can finally get and stay pregnant. You'll find the link in the show notes. As a quick reminder and disclaimer, this podcast is for educational purposes only and is not a substitute for medical advice. Always consult your doctor or healthcare provider before starting any new supplement or protocol, especially if you're actively trying to conceive or undergoing treatment.